Previously, I think you had some fruit for dessert. And when I was asked to do this, I was coming up with ideas of what I wanted to do for dessert. And if you, any of you have gone to Cooking Men before, um, I've done a couple desserts in the past, and one of them I did was a baked Alaska. It's a nice decadent chocolate brownie with a strawberry ice cream and a toasted meringue on top. And another one that I did was a uh, deconstruct, what I call a deconstructed mudslide. So it was a espresso brownie sandwich with a Kahlua ice cream inside. So when I brought that up to the dietitian who was involved in this, she said, have you ever tried a black bean brownie? And I was, I was very deflated with my ideas. So I compromised. And tonight we're gonna do a peanut butter and chocolate chip cookie bar, which has a large base of garbanzo beans. So it's a little healthier, has some protein in it. Um, but to boot, I added a homemade cinnamon ice cream uh, to add to the, the plate. So this is a very easy recipe in that it is all done all in just a food processor. I combined some of the ingredients to make it a little bit easier, but this is just a, a third cup of uh, flour, uh, eighth teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and four tablespoons of sugar. Also get a third cup of peanut butter. Does anybody have any allergies tonight? We have two teaspoons of vanilla. A half teaspoon of baking powder. We use one whole cup of drained garbanzo beans. We used two tablespoons of coconut oil. Now, we had a nice rainy day today. It was um, overcast. It was supposed to be overcast all day with a high of 64 or five, whatever it was supposed to be. And I thought I could get away with leaving my coconut oil and my chocolate chips in the car. And of course the sunshine came out and luckily the blast chiller has solidified me there, but my chocolate chips are not so much a chip as a, a bar or a bark. So we'll work with that as we get there. You could substitute the coconut oil for canola oil. And uses two tablespoons of maple syrup. Be a little natural with your sweetener. And this is a quarter teaspoon of baking, uh, baking soda. So we added our flour, half cup of flour, our chickpeas, our coconut oil. We added uh, peanut butter, you can use any type of nut butter that you wish. Two tablespoons of maple syrup, the coke, uh, that we use regular sugar, they call for coconut sugar. Uh, we added two teaspoons of vanilla extract, uh, eighth teaspoon of salt, the half teaspoon of baking powder, the baking soda, the cinnamon, and we'll do the chocolate chips after. So it recommends to do that for about a minute or so, scrape down the sides, do it again, get a nice smooth consistency. All right, then we're going to grease our pan. I'm just using a nine inch cake plan. You can use a, a square if you wish. You could use a glass dish. I'm using butter. You can use your choice of grease.
So it's a really nice, smooth consistency. Um, before we do that though, we're gonna add our chocolate chips, we'll call them. We'll see how they turned out after melting down a little bit. When I made this the first time, I tried to trick my kids and I told them that it was just a chocolate chip peanut butter cookie bar and they ate it and thought it was delicious. And then I told them there were chickpeas in it and my daughter said, what, what? And my son said, cool, protein. It's very nice that it only takes up a small amount of cleaning afterwards. So then we'll check these chocolate chips out. It recommends a um, recommends a half cup of chocolate chips. Reserve about a tablespoon for the top to sprinkle and just fold that in. And we'll transfer and spread that out. And then we put it in the oven at 350 for about 22 minutes and enjoy. Um, I, I was not gonna make the ice cream in front of you because that's kind of a tedious process, need a stove and um, whatnot, but the ice cream that we have tonight is a homemade cinnamon ice cream. Um, it does have an uh, egg base to it. So it is using two cups of heavy cream, one cup of milk, I think it's about uh, you have the recipe in front of you. I think it's about three quarter cups of sugar and uh, vanilla. And you start the cinnamon ac actually out on the stove to give it a little toasted uh, flavor to it. Um, does not need to be on there long or else it'll burn. It recommends putting it in a separate pan. Personally, I just do it right in a saucepan, a nonstick saucepan. Heat the cinnamon until it's fragrant, then add the uh, first cup of heavy cream, the he a cup of milk, uh, the sugar uh, and I believe the vanilla and get that warmed up. Then you separate your eggs and have six egg yolks and temper the eggs slowly pouring that hot mixture over the eggs, whisking it vigorously and really slowly. Um, and then put that back on the oven and it will thicken up probably in about five minutes, five, six minutes um, on a somewhat medium, medium to low heat. Um, and once it starts to thicken, it's, it's ready to go. You take a spoon, just a wooden spoon, once you can put your finger across it and it does not drip any longer, that's, it's good to go. Uh, you have an ice bath with the other cup of heavy cream and incorporate that through a strainer. So you have your hot mixture, the strainer on top of a bowl with a, a one cup of heavy cream over an ice bath. And then you strain that out into the cream and, and mix that. I like to take all my ice cream bases and put them in the fridge for at least a couple hours so that I have one of the, I don't have a salt ice cream maker, I have one of the frozen bowls that just spins. Um, it seems to work better. Um, and it takes about 20 minutes in one of those ice cream makers. 